are those ones say up there? Real friends. Real ones. I want to say real ones. Real ones. Shout out to my real ones. All right, you guys, you guys know what real ones are? As the real, those are the ones, the day ones, the ones that are there for you for real. All right, now I, 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 I don't know if you're new here. If any of you guys are new here, I'm so happy because this is a great time for you guys to join. This is one of like the best. Like you guys to join at the right window because like I, I want you to feel welcome. And I want you guys to make friends here. Like, that's what we're about here. I want you guys to make connection with your leaders. I want you guys to make connection with each other. And most importantly, I want you guys to make connection with God. That's why I always say connect with God. But now we're going to talk about connecting with other people. Now everyone here, think about your best friend, right? Think about your best friend or a really close friend that you guys have. You guys are like a perfect match. Like, like peanut butter and jelly. Like, like burgers and french fries. Like y'all are the real deal. Y'all are real friends. Everyone say real friends. No, no, everyone say real friends. Real friends. There you go, there you go. I want us to do a quick little vote on which pairs you guys think are real fair, like friends in these food dynamics, okay? Now, I'm not saying cheer for the one that tastes better, all right? Let me make this clear. We have fair judges. We're all fair judges. Not which one's better, but which one is the better match, the more iconic duo. We're going to play a game of food besties. Everyone say food besties. Yes. All right, let's see. We're going to cheer for the one that we think is better, all right? So, first we have bacon and eggs. It's true now, you want to say bacon and eggs. Not bad. Or chips and salsa. Not bad, not bad. Chips and salsa win. Next slide, next slide. Sushi and chopsticks. Yeah! Yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. PB and J. That's the peanut butter on the roof of my mouth. Next slide, next slide. All right, let's see uh, popcorn and soda. Two of you. Burgers and fries. Ah! That's, that's good. That's good. I think we have one more, right? Oh, yeah. Alright. Uh, salt and pepper. Ah! The chicken nuggies with the sauce. Ah! Yeah, that's, that's actually a pretty good time. Let me, let me see you again. Salt and pepper. Ah! Chicken nuggies with the sauce. Ah! Salt and pepper won that last one. I think salt and pepper won that one. All right, I, just, I think when it, all, when it comes to friendships, we all agree we want to have that perfect kind of match. We want to have that kind of peanut butter jelly vibe. Like, it, it, it fits well. It just clicks right. We don't want a fake friendship. We don't want a shallow one. We want a real friendship. We want real friends. Everyone say real friends. Real friends. Now, some of you guys might have tons of friends. Some of you guys might have a few real friends. Some of you guys may only have one person. Or maybe well, some of you guys have no one at all. Maybe you guys feel like you guys have no one. Now, what's important regardless of whether you guys have a lot or a few or feel like you guys have none, it's important you guys examine who you keep close to you, all right? Now, I want you guys to learn how to find real friends and be real friends. Everyone say find and be. Well, two things we're trying to do, all right? And this will play a huge role in your life. Now, think about the start of some of your friendships, guys. When you were back when you guys were younger, everyone, everyone, like, look up to the clouds right now. Like, look back, like, the cloud. I can't do my voice is gone. Now, maybe someone invited you guys to play catch. You know, a game of basketball. Maybe they invited you to play a game. Maybe someone liked the same YouTuber as you, or they, they had a shirt of your favorite TV show. Uh, maybe your parents set up a play date. You guys became besties ever since. Or maybe the worst drama back then that you had to deal with was where you're having a birthday party, whether it's at the pool or the trampoline park. Now, that was all it took for you guys to become real friends back then. Now, that was a lot more of a simple time. Now, as you guys are getting older, you guys are becoming middle schoolers, tweens, uh, things get a little more different. Your friends groups seem to change over time, or you're worried that it's going to change. Uh, maybe you guys don't talk to those same friends that you used to in grade one. Maybe interests change. Maybe classes change. Maybe you join different sports teams, or you're part of different, uh, you start for different teams. Maybe your friend groups completely change. Things aren't always as consistent as they used to be. And maybe it doesn't feel like you're really friends anymore with the people you once considered friends. I don't know, how many of you guys relate to that before? That's, 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 personally, I've had moments where I've had friends and that have changed over time. I've made new friends and I lost them and I made new ones. And it was, it was a very confusing time. And maybe you guys want deeper, realer friendships, but don't know where to start looking or what that even looks like or how to get that kind of friendship. So how do we find real friendships? Now, the best example of a real friendship that I think of, uh, or someone that's, that, that gives the best example, is Jesus. Everyone say Jesus. Jesus. Jesus is probably the best friend you guys could ever have. And he gave some solid advice on relationships uh, with, with people in the Gospel of Luke. Everyone say Luke. Luke. Say like a, a, a Luke. Luke. 
Yeah, very good. All right, now who wrote the Gospel of Luke? Very good, very good. And who was Luke? Oh, you guys, you guys are, someone said doctor. Yeah, he wasn't a disciple, he was a doctor. He was a doctor who wrote about Jesus' life and his adventures in the ministry. He interviewed people about who Jesus was. And in this portion that I'm going to read about to you guys today, Jesus was talking about how to get closer to God and also talking about relationships. And this is what he said. Are right, you guys ready? All right, we're going to go for it anyways. Due to... All right, everyone just kind of like... Wake up, wake up, wake up. Due to... As you would like them do to... I like that. That, 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 this, this letter, yeah, like that. that was good. Now, Jesus was specifically talking about how we should love our enemies in this verse. He wasn't talking about, like, just in general. But I think this goes so much deeper than that. This is one of the most profound verses because it's the golden rule. And it can apply to so many different things. Now, love your neighbors as yourselves is probably the golden rule, but this is do to others. And the reason why I love this verse is because it can apply to so many different things that you prefer be done to you but also so many different kind of people. It can apply to everyone around us, and it can also apply to the friendships that we want to have. Now, how do you guys want to be treated by others? Let me, let me let you raise your hand if you guys have some ways you guys want to be treated. Yes, Easton. Like a real friend. Yeah, a, a real friend is kind of, okay, I like that. Now, what does that look like, Anna? Like what? What, what, what? How would you guys like to be treated? How would you guys like to be treated? With respect, okay, let's go right there. Just give me one point right there. Nice, that's a huge one right there. Any other ones? How do you, how do you guys want to be treated? What else? Yes, well again. Huh? What? Normally, yeah. Like nothing's wrong, you know? Okay, that's pretty cool. Uh, people be nice to us, that was one I wrote down. They invite us to things. Who likes to get invited to things? Let's be honest, I, I like to get invited to things. Uh, text us. Play games with us, invite us to play a game. Like, whenever I'm, I'm pulling up to the tweet someday, I'm like, oh, I want to play a game. I'd like to be invited to play a game sometimes, you know? I'll listen to our problems. I have problems. I would love to have someone listen to my problems. Help us out in hard times or just help us in general while I'm trying to clean up. Oh, let me help, let me help you clean up with that. Uh, and there, there's something actually, I saw a TikTok that really drives home the point that I saw, okay? Now, I, I was struggling with this because I was like, man, like, this, this is me. He, he said, how do I make friends? How do I make friends? How do I, how do I get like, people around me? How do I get invited to things? How do I get those kind of things? Well, you be that friend. Be the friend you want to have. Can everyone say that? Is, is, is that up there over there? Be the friend you want to have. Everyone say that now. Be the friend you want to have. It's that simple. This is the most simple message I can ever give you guys. Be the friend you want to have. If you guys want to be invited to things, you guys should try inviting other people. You guys should be the ones to reach out first. If you guys want people to be nice to you, you guys should be nice to other people. If you guys want to be respected, you guys should respect other people. If you guys want to treat people normally, like nothing's wrong with them or they're not weird or whatever, treat them normally because they deserve to be treated with respect like a normal person because they are. Now what could this verse mean for real friendships also? Love others the way you guys want to be loved. Invite others the way you guys want to be invited. If you guys want to feel valued in friendships, you guys should show value to others. If you guys want to feel important to someone, you guys should also help others feel important too, because guess what? They want to feel the same way. Think of what they, whatever that thing you guys are thinking of that you guys would like to get treated as. I'm pretty sure the person beside you wants to feel the same way. Be the friend you want to have. Everyone say that one more time. And Jesus lived this out really well too. We're going to read the next verse. And this, this happened in the book of John, all right? Oh, I, I got smaller, didn't I? Can you guys read that? Are you guys able to see? All right. Good, good. <laughs> Thank you. So Jesus got up from the meal, took off his outer clothing, and wrapped a towel around his waist. After that, he poured out water into a basin, that's kind of like a little jar on the ground, and began to wash, and began to wash his disciples, drying them with the towel that was wrapped around him. John 13, 4, verse 5. John 13, 4, verse 5. Sorry about that, guys. All right. Sorry, is it better a little too long? All right. Washing other people's feet might seem weird to me, you guys. But back then, it was a really common thing, but it had also a lot deeper of a meaning. Now, I don't know if y'all know about this, but people used to have, like, those open-toe shoes. You know, like the chakras with, like, the open-toe? They used to walk around with that. 
outside on the dirt roads, the desert roads, all day long. Like that was their casual trip in the hot sun. So it got a little sweaty too. And then there was a little bit of dirt that got a little like, in the toe crevices, right? The little dirt there. All of a sudden, a little bit of mud. Oops, I stepped in that. Animal poop. Ah, oh, well, you know, it's just gonna be. And it's got all over their feet for a whole day. At the end of the day, when they have a meal, usually servants will wash the feet. Not, not a normal person. Not even their teacher. But a servant washed their feet. But Jesus, he humbled himself. They decided to wash their feet. He chose to serve. He chose to be a friend to his disciples. And as, as, I, as I wrap up this lesson, guys, we can do the same. Now, I'm not saying you guys have to wash people's feet. Okay, you guys don't have to do that. No? If you guys want to do that, okay. Uh, but we can do, we can be that friend that loves others. We can be that friend that values others. Uh, the way that we want to be loved and valued. We can show people that same friendship that we want in the first place. Well, don't worry about the screen. I'm talking to you guys. So how can we be the kind of friend that we want, though? How can we be the kind of friend that we want? All right, first thing. Think about the kind of friend you want to have. All right? It's that simple. Think about the kind of friend. What kind of qualities do you guys want in a friend? Think about that right now. What kind of qualities do you guys want in a friend? Think about it. Take, take a good second to think about that. What do you guys want in a friend? Loving person, a caring person, serving. They invite you to hang out and do fun stuff. They check in on you. They sit with you at lunch. They pray with you. What kind of friend do you want? If they're honest with you, they're vulnerable. All those kinds of things. They reflect God's heart. They push you guys closer to God. Those are things that I want for you guys. Right? And the next thing, and this is step number two. Be that kind of friend. Be that friend that you guys want to have. Whatever you guys want in a person, like, man, like, I want to be friends with that kind of guy. Be that kind of person. This will be one of the simplest level lessons, like I said. Literally, take all those things you guys listed in your mind and actually do those things. Show the value in other people. Take the first step. Treat others the way you want to be treated. Serve others the way you want to be. Now again, I've struggled with this for a long time. Now, I've struggled with loneliness, and I've been very frustrated with, with how I have a hard time. I get frustrated, like, why don't people, you know, check in on me? Why don't people invite me to things? And I've, I've been there before, and I was wondering why I was in that place, but I realized I actually never checked in on people. I never really took that step to be a friend first. And when I started doing that, I was surprised at how much people really appreciated that. And I didn't know how much of a big impact that would make. When I started being vulnerable with people, when I started telling them about my insecurities and my struggles, I didn't know how much they'd appreciate that. They'd feel comfortable sharing with me too. When you guys take that first step, it'll make a bigger impact than you guys think. That's the lesson for today. Let's say a prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for the fact that you built us for friendships, God. You built us to connect with each other, God, and to connect with you. I pray they help every single student here, uh, whether they're struggling with loneliness, Lord, I'm praying that you, you bless them in this time, God. I'm praying that you bless them with the ability to take that first step and become the friend that they want, God. I'm praying that whether they're struggling with real friendships, whether they're having drama, or whether even they're just, they don't even know how to be that friend, God. I'm praying they help them take that first step and to show love to others, God. Help them to treat those around them the way that they want to be treated. In Jesus' name. And everyone said, Amen. Amen.